Welcome back my friends. Okay, so um, here's what we're gonna do today. First of all, if you're not subscribed to the channel, here's your chance to subscribe to the channel. So there's a little thing right there, here or there or, or there. So just hit the subscribe button and hit like on the video because it helps with the whole algorithm situation for the YouTubeness. All right, I gave you three seconds, not four seconds. cool now we're friends okay so what's gonna happen is this so I know that um, you probably saw the other video about the reason why the coffee maker is going to be destroyed today so the coffee maker and if you don't know why then just go to one of my live streams about the coffee maker and you'll find out what happened to the coffee maker and why I'm going to be destroying it with arrows today so the coffee maker that we're talking about is this one that's the very one Yep, mm -hmm. tried to kill me. So we're just gonna kill it right back. And we're gonna kill it right back with arrows. We're gonna go from the smallest arrow to the bigger, faster bows would shoot arrows faster. So the smaller arrow being this one. So we are gonna start with that. And that is the mini crossbow. That is a 50 pound mini crossbow. And um, this video, will be in a list of videos called bow and arrow stuff so if you want to see like i did videos on all these bows so you can see how fast that the uh, the arrows go first things first we're going to shoot this candy glass coffin lid r.i.p that uh my wife made it's made it's sugar so by the way so so that you know she's going to be having a channel for gluten-free cooking and um so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have lots of awesome goodies that she's gonna be making along the way, prepping for the channel, and this is one of them. So, uh, so it's, uh, it is now arrow fodder. So it will be the first to go. And so we're gonna put a little crossbow arrow through that, um, and we're gonna do that with the, uh, with the mini crossbow, and we're gonna do that also through colored water. And you may ask yourself, Kyle, where do you buy colored water? because that's weird, man. You know, that's like, that's Halloween stuff. I tell you what, we're gonna go inside baseball right now. I'm gonna tell you how I do it. Now, you, as you can see, this particular water right now is completely clear. There is no color in it. So you may ask yourself, how are you gonna make that water green, Kyle? And uh, you know, well, and my choice for green was because this is the, uh, the RIP um, coffin lid, which is purple, and green on the color spectrum is the opposite of purple, so this is going to be beautiful, don't you think? All right, so let's, uh, let's see how we dye the water green. Watch. like watch that for hours I mean I, I know I could but then that might be a boring video so I'm gonna put the lids on right now and uh, and that's gonna be that for that all right so a little inside baseball here so uh, you may think hey man how do you get those really cool like slow motion shots you know on the the actual you know arrow going through stuff because if I'm looking at this camera and then there's like, you know, a close-up of the slow motion stuff while it's happening, I'll tell you, check this out. So, we got right here, a little GoPro. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Because, uh, thank you so much for everyone in the Patreon that has uh, helping out with all this. So it's uh, Patreon forward slash Kyle Hester actor guy. There's actually a link down in there. It's like $3 um, a month and you too can help make this awesome excellentness and subscribe to the channel. Please. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do this little jammy right there. We're going to shoot the RIP and, um, and that's going to be with the, uh, with the crossbow pistol. So let's, let's do that. Okay. So more inside baseball stuff. So we are going to be rolling on this right here this is the slow-mo camera and um, so you can't really punch in because it doesn't punch in on slow-mo but uh, this is the way you have to put this kind of close so okay and we are rolling on slow-mo and we are 
cocking the crossbow pistol. And safety off. Are we ready? Let's do this. <laughs> I think that's gonna be good slow-mo. Cool. Okay, so I can't really go back and check the slow-mo footage right now, so you're gonna be seeing it the first time that I see it as well. But just to show you that this that the crossbow bolts will actually go through the uh, the gallon without that having been without the RIP sugar glass being in front of it, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it again and then uh, so you can see that. So here we go. Safety off. Well, that was a dud, now don't you think? All right, let's try this again. Okay, that was success, thank you very much. Okay, so what we're gonna do, now that we have the, the actual target, the coffee maker, right here, ready to go. We're gonna take them from the smallest trajectory situation, which would be the crossbow that you just saw, to the bow and arrow, the PVC bow, which is a 35 pound bow, and then the Hungarian horse bow, which is a 45 pound draw, so go watch all those other videos after this one. You can see like exactly how powerful they are against like water bottles and whatnot, because this is not a water bottle and it's plastic. Um, it could be kind of dangerous. So we're gonna need safety glasses. Through the magic of editing, safety glasses. All right, let's do this. Let's get the crossbow. All right, so my question would be, do you think that this is gonna go all the way through that and into the water bottle? Or do you think it's going to stop after the first level? Or do you think it's just going to bounce off? I mean, I don't know. So we're just going to find out. So pause the video, put your answer in, and then we'll see what happens. Safety off. <laughs> okay, that is why you wear safety glasses. Because holy cow. Okay, that is gonna show you why you wear safety glasses in these kinds of things. And also why I have plexiglass in front of the GoPro because of those kinds of things. So this is, this is a, that's hard plastic. So now I have no idea what's gonna happen with the bow and arrows. So, uh, wow. Okay, let's go get a bow. You ever have one of those moments when you're like, uh, let me just take a pause. Let me take a pause for reflection because uh, I just had a little crossbow bolt like fly back at me as fast as it went towards the thing because you know, Newton's law, energy, this doesn't, can't get rid of it and whatnot. So since it didn't get rid of it going through it, it had to get rid of it coming back and that's where I was. So yeah, all right then. Duly noted. Chain mail, shark chain mail. Um, that's why knights wore armor. Uh, yeah, okay, so we know why people do things now. So, okay, bow and arrow, let's do this. Okay, my friends, so this is a 35 pound draw PVC bow. This is a wooden arrow, um, wooden knock, basic field tip, nothing special. So, uh, yeah. All right, so what do you think? Do you think it's gonna go all the way through? Do you think it's gonna bounce back and try to kill me? Do you think it's gonna go through both levels of plastic? Do you, do you, do you think it's gonna hit the water jug? What do you think? I don't know, let's find out. All right.
Okay, as you can see, we have a penetrated through the first level, did not go into the water jug, but uh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's, uh, let's step it up a notch, shall we? Okay, so I took the arrow out just um, to give it everything an equal playing field. So, uh, but I uh, just wanted, to, it broke, broke coming out. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like, you know, from this side. So basically it's, uh, yeah, it's just kind of cracked. You know, a little little crack situation there, and um, and on the other side, there is nothing. So, but there's a there's an arrow tip inside of that sucker. So, uh, all right. So, now that one, that one was going as you would see from the other videos. If you uh, go check the speed test on that particular arrow with that particular bow, it's like 66 miles an hour. So. That's about how fast that arrow was going. So this next one with the Hungarian horse bow, that arrow goes about 104 miles an hour. That's a pretty big difference. So, I don't know. What do you think? Is it gonna go all the way through? I think it's gonna like, do you think we're gonna see some blue water on that table? I think, I think we might see some blue water on the table. It's. It's a fast, faster arrow that's almost twice as fast. So let's see what happens. All right, so just uh, same, same. Hungarian horse bow, one arrow. And uh, let's see if we get some blue water on that table, shall we? Safety first. High speed is rolling. <laughs> that's crazy all right okay all right so check this out so it went all the way through into I mean you could see from the slow-mo but you've already seen this but they went all the way through into the uh, the water bottle and uh, yeah Wow all right that's super cool let me um let me see if I can get this sucker back up here Oh wow, did it go all the way through? Looks like it went all the way through. Yep. Well it looks like it definitely went all the way through. That is freaking crazy. Okay, let's uh let's let's shoot this sucker again. Let's shoot it until it does not stand or until this arrow goes away. So uh Let's make that happen. Okay, so as you can see, I have turned it. So now it's on the side, so we don't have a weakened side or anything like that. And uh, to be fair, we'll give like the PVC bow another chance and see if uh, maybe I did something wrong. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So PVC bow first and then the horse bow. So here we go. PVC bow, go. Oh. What? Miss? That's going to be a take two on the PVC boat. That's more like it. Okay, so again, the PVC bow did not go all the way through. I mean, it barely went into the, the first side. So check this out. It's like, you can see that right there? That's like, that's the arrow tip. So let me see if I can get this sucker out. <sighs> huh. Yeah, that looks like it hit some... Uh, another rubber coating of mechanics in there somewhere so you just never know what's gonna happen all right well let's go up to the horse bow 
Okay, all right, so ultimately you may ask yourself, Kyle, why does it matter like how far it goes through like a coffee maker? And well, I'll tell you why, because you know, if you are ever in a chase and someone is shooting arrows at you, you will need to know if you can hide behind your coffee maker and how far you can hide behind your coffee maker. So if someone is chasing you with a 35 pound horse bow, you could like use that coffee maker as a shield. Just like, kapow, like a Wonder Woman shield, kapow, kapow, you know, not even worry about it. With a horse bow, mm, I don't know, not so much. Maybe look at the draw. Don't stand right behind, you know, the coffee maker, um, and you might have a chance. So maybe if you stood like two feet behind the coffee maker with the horse bow. But okay, let's shoot the horse bow again and see what we're talking about. All right, let's do this. Horse bow, take two. All right, my friends, so uh, looks like as our research and development has told us, you could be behind the coffee maker approximately four and a half inches and you would still be safe, uh, you know, from a Hungarian horse bow, 45 pound draw. Uh, so you could be, you know, you could actually use it as a shield. So if you had a bunch of these, you know and you like tied them all together with like zip ties and whatnot and you didn't have any holes in there like a jigsaw puzzle then you could probably use it as a viking shield um but that'd be a lot of coffee makers so i don't know i don't think i would use it as a shield but just for that reason it might actually just make a shield so yeah anyway I think that's what we got because if I if I shoot any more arrows into it I'm gonna probably break more arrows and arrows are not cheap so hey join the patreon if you like this stuff please click like on the video subscribe I'm full of ridiculousness and film stuff so this is one of the ridiculousness and uh, go check out all of the other ones in this list of bow and arrow stuff and uh, enjoy so uh, I will see you guys on the flip side and uh, peace out